everyone, I'm Allie. This is my first YouTube video. Um, it's the new mom uh, tag that I saw from Jamie Lynn Mama. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and answer the 20 questions that she had tagged in that video. And this is Emily. This is my daughter. I became a new mom in September. Emily is about to be seven months old and she is the best kid I've ever had. <laughs> you good girl. Yeah. Hey, let me answer questions. You want to hang out? So the first question is, are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? I am a little bit of both. Um, I am a stay-at-home for the majority of life, um, but I'm also a professional makeup artist that's freelance, so I have the ability to pick and choose. Really? I have the ability to pick and choose what I do, and most of that stuff's on weekends when my husband is then home. So I get the best of both worlds. Number two is, would you have it any other way? And the answer to that is no. No. <laughs> I love being able to stay at home with her. And I love watching her grow and knowing that I'm not going to miss, hopefully, anything. So she can't do anything new on the weekends, is what I tell my husband. <laughs> Number three, do we co-sleep? Uh, I bring Emily in to my bed in the mornings. She wakes up around 5.36. My husband's, my husband's uh, gone and off for work by that point in time. So I'll nurse her and then she'll go back to sleep on the bed next to me. So that's the only amount of co-sleeping that we do. Um, other than that, she is in her crib. Must have gear for baby. Um, I would definitely say the uh, bobby pillow. Um, I had gotten another breastfeeding pillow, the JJ Cole one prior to having Emily, because I had been told that's the new and improved one. Um, I didn't like it. I still use it here and there if it's in her rocking chair or whatever. But the best part about the Boppy is that it has the ability um, to support her more when I'm feeding, as well as now that she sits up on her own with the... She gets a little wobbly, but it's nice that I can put that around her and not have to worry. Not have to worry about you. Hi. kids do you plan on having? Um, we definitely want two. Um, I think we'll kind of take it from there after we have a second one. Um, we want to wait till Emily's at least around two years old to even get to the next one. So we have some time to think about it. Uh, date night. How many date nights do you have per month? Uh, we actually just had our first one and it was a day date. Um, we do not live close to any of our family. Um, the closest family is about two hours away, so it makes it difficult to have anybody to watch Emily. And the other part is that she still nurses about four to five times a day, and especially at night to go to sleep. So to have a night, date night, um, is too difficult right now. So hopefully in the next coming months it gets a lot easier. Uh, name your child's favorite show. Uh, she's seven months. She doesn't really have a favorite show. Um, sometimes I put on Peppa Pig and she pays attention. But there's nothing right now that I know that she's going crazy over. But maybe sometime. Um, name one thing that your child that you bought for before you had your baby that you never ended up using. For us, it ended up being pacifiers. Emily never took a pacifier for us. We tried several different types several different times and she just never wanted one. So that's what it came down to for us, unfortunately, because then she ended up using me as the pacifier whenever she needed comfort. <coughs> what is your child's favorite food? Sweet potatoes. She is obsessed with sweet potatoes. So anytime she has something that she hasn't really liked, I mask it in sweet potatoes and she will eat it. Yeah. Uh, how many cars does your family have? We have two. Weight gain before pregnancy, during, after, and now. Um, I gained about 28 pounds, 27, 28 pounds during pregnancy. I have lost everything but about 7 pounds. Um, some of that is that I am still nursing, so I am still holding a lot of weight in this region. And then a little bit in the midsection, but I think I'll never be happy with it. Maybe. So, next question is... What is your dream vacation with your kids? 
Um, I take a dream vacation someday. Would love to go to Hawaii with the kids. I've heard amazing things about it. We've never been, and I think it's a great family vacation spot to go look for some different adventures in the water and volcanoes and that kind of thing. I think would be a great vacation. What is your dream vacation without your kids? Uh, my husband and I's number one choice is Italy, um, especially alone, because while the kids are small, I don't think they could appreciate something as much as we would or they when they get older someday they probably appreciate it more but until then that has been our number one spot that we want to go to how has your life changed since your baby was born i am now responsible for a living human being that depends on me for every need how much more could my life change um it's also i feel that my life is more fulfilling i feel um more of a purpose towards my life like a deeper purpose than just what it was before um, I think it's also happier. I think I'm definitely happier knowing now that it's just not my husband and I, it's now a family. And I think it makes us both really happy to know that we've started a family. Um, finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see Emily laugh. I love it when she full on belly laughs. I think it's the best thing in the world to know that she's laughing and having fun and is so happy. And every time she does it, it feels like the first time she did it, and I just end up cracking up with her. Uh, where do you shop for your kids? Uh, Target, Carter's, Baby Gap. I've bought stuff at consignment and eBay. Um, the only times I buy stuff on consignment on eBay are if they're brand new with tags. Um, and then I've gotten things from friends. I'm fine if it comes, clothing comes used from people I know, but I'm not comfortable if it's nobody that I know. Um, I've also gotten stuff at other, you know, random places. I've gotten stuff from the American, American Eagle Kids, I think it is. Um, Baby Gap. I've gotten stuff. Old Navy. Old Navy is actually another big one where we get a lot of our clothes for her. Favorite makeup and skincare products. I think this video would end up being the whole entire video if I answered that one question because I am a makeup artist. But I would say my favorite product of the month right now is the Revlon Nearly Naked Skin Foundation. Um, I think it's one of the best products that has been recently put on the market. Um, I'm also a big fan of the Urban Decay Naked Palettes. Um, Huggies Diaper Jeans, yay or nay? I would say nay, because we don't use Huggies to begin with. Um, and I also don't really see a purpose of having diaper jeans, because I put pants on my kid. Uh, have you always wanted kids? Absolutely. Since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a mom. What is the best part about being a mom? Watching her grow, I think, is the best part. And knowing that there's so much more to come and so much excitement and milestones and big moments in her life that I get to be a part of, I think that is the best part about being a mom. So that's it for me. I tag any of you that happen to be watching this that are new moms. Um, I'm also going to tag some people in the bar below, in the little space description box below. Um, thanks for watching. Maybe you'll subscribe and I'll put out some more videos. Have a great day.